Hi, I'm Tom Talbot, and I'm back with another video about the clock fraud. And uh, I'm here to explain why I made the video in the first place. Uh, this will be the first of three videos, so I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And uh, this video will talk about why. The next one will talk about some of the political dimensions and the importance of this issue. And the last one will look at some of the comments and some of the sharp critiques I've gotten, and we'll have some fun with them. Uh, so the reason why I did this, well, let's take a look. We, we know there's a story about a young person who's a high school student, and we should not disparage him. We should remember this is a high school student. This is about the issue around this clock and what's happened in the news. And I, I, I hope people keep that in mind in their comments. Um, but this is a, the story is a young person brought us a, a clock he built in his school to show to his teacher. He ended up going to uh, the principal's office and going to be arrested. Um, and then this ended up in the news after his parents went to the, his family went to the press. And uh, it's been a big issue that's caught on a lot in the blogosphere. And uh, so the question is, why did I write and make, produce a video? My video, by the way, showed that this was a commercial clock just pulled out of a box and it was not something that was a kit that was a kit or an invented thing or it required any actual construction of anything at all, which made me concerned we were, this was a fraud and that, uh, and that there may be something else and another agenda behind this whole incident, which we could discuss in the second video. So let's start looking at some pictures. Uh, I've, I've recorded pictures off social media and it started with this young man's arrest. And uh, he and he called this an invention, and and mentioned that they were they were concerned about it being a bomb if he was trying to make a bomb or something that looked like one, and I could understand that might be a scary experience for a young person. Uh, and the comment here started this: "I stand with Ahmed. A young boy shouldn't have to stop expressing his talent just because of wrongful stereotypes." So the first thing I start seeing about this is there seems to be an assumption that there's a racial or religious anti-religious agenda here. And I see that theme and that people seem to be very concerned about this issue. Um, the president uh, says, uh, cool clock, Ahmed, want to bring it to the White House. We should inspire more kids like you to like science. It's what makes America's great. Um, part of my concern here was I start seeing a lot of famous names, Mark Zuckerberg, uh, President Obama and others who know very little bit about this, very little about this issue, have not checked facts and are chiming in very, very quickly about the issue. Um, and I kind of wondered about this because I, I had a lot of questions. I'm like, well, I don't really know what's going on here. I don't want to hear about uh, a student being arrested for a project. That sounds kind of, uh, that doesn't sound right to me. Um, so uh, we move on and a lot of people express their support. Uh, American Geophysical Union here, uh, selfies with clocks, more uh, clock pictures saying they express support uh, to this young person. Um, here's a one that's very emotional. He wanted to impress just a soul, but Allah said, no, you are impressing the world. I think people are projecting a little bit onto this incident and it has a lot, and people are finding their own meaning in this. Um, and I still don't know all the facts at this point when I'm looking at this online material. Uh, Skin Like Butter looked at and collected images of all these endorsements and these this encouragement and goes i'm not sure why but my eyes started watering give me a break so and then we see other comparisons going into this this must be a racial thing or something like this um and by the way i've been called a um a huge nosed jew because i'm doing this i'd like to say i'm an arab american and proud of it and this is a huge arab nose not a huge jew nose and uh Really, you could do better than that. Uh, so this is a comparison where it shows a 13-year-old who built a fusion reactor and he celebrated, whereas Ahmed is, has his clock, which he did not build. And, uh, but he makes a clock and he's a terrorist all of a sudden. Okay. Uh, then there's comparisons talking about the narrative of Texas, which is full of troglodytes who are all racists and, uh, you know, conduct lynchings after they eat their blue bonnet ice cream on Friday afternoon. And so here's a comparison of this young man, obviously with a black police officer with him, who must be a racist too, and um, some kids with guns, which they do like in Texas, they're kids with guns. Uh, and then popular science says, Let's, you can make your own clock and support. So I stand with Ahmed. And I'm like, wait, people are taking a stance in a potential criminal issue without knowing facts. And I'm looking at this picture 
And and the first thing that happens to me is I know this is not something someone built. I could tell it's a deep, deep box commercial product immediately. And then I look at it and I look at well, gee, this if to the uninformed this does look like a bomb or at least a hoax bomb. This is scary looking. Police officers are trained to look for used circuits and loose wiring sticking out of things in boxes. That's what they're trained to identify to protect us. And you know, popular science seems to have gone all in very quickly for Ahmed uh, in his position. Um, but did they have all the facts? Did the press have all the facts? Did the president have all the facts? Or even any of them? Make Magazine went in big for this. And they do a little breakdown and said, you can make your own clock. And of course they're altruistic and want to support a young person and their interest in learning. I'm for that. But they also want to support themselves. They've put clocks on sale on the same feed. Said, we've got five cool clocks for you to build now. And this really makes me wonder, what is their agenda? Um, Adafruit, which is a great do-it-yourself site uh, that I love, has 10% off all items in stock. Not a bomb. Oh, I wish I would have caught that sale. I'd like to buy things from Adafruit, but they seem to be getting onto this too. And then comes the swag. Uh, Ahmed gets all the swag. Invited to the White House. Lifetime membership. Offers to go to a boarding school for free. MIT. We'd love to have people like you. Um, come to Facebook. Go to all these things. And get the swag in the mail, right? So we've got a, a, oh, a Surface Pro 3. Wow. A, a 3D printer. Great. I mean, good for somebody. But then I'm thinking, I saw that picture. I know this kid did not make a clock. I know young people do amazing things, and they work their butts off to invent stuff and do things and do wonderful creative things. Do they get this recognition? Do they get adoration, adulation for this? For doing nothing? This really is what bothered me, is that maybe the kid was a turd in the school and being a, a miscreant in his behavior. I don't know if he was, but he did something to get arrested, and people automatically assume that the authorities in the school uh, have bad intentions. And I don't know what the facts are, but for someone to get all these things who did not create something, maybe created other things, but this was not a creation worth meriting for a 14-year-old high school student. Unboxing a clock is something that you might praise a 7-year-old for. So this is one thing that really bothered me. I've, I, I ran a contest once with young people in it that did amazing things. And uh, they worked very hard on what they did. Uh, he also got a lawyer and seems very happy to have an attorney with his uh, dad and family there. And I'm sure there'll be a lot of action on the legal front for him. We'll discuss a little bit about all of that tomorrow. Uh, one problem is Texas has a law against making hoax bombs or devices that can incite the attention of a public safety agency. So there is a criminal law issue here. I'm not an attorney, um, but I do can say it is a legitimate issue. Um, I showed in the video uh, the other day that I did that uh, this was a really commercial clock. Someone did a better job than me, named G O last name, who in 20 seconds unboxes an alarm clock and recreates Ahmed's um, clock in 20 seconds. Granted, he had a head start moving the screws, but there it is. It's the same thing. So when you look at that, you look at this comparison, you saw the amount of work that went into making the clock. And he was recognized by the president and by Mark Zuck, all these other people, and all these places that should know better. I mean, don't the press have tech people or have, you know, nerds on call or something that can just tell them, well, could you look at this? What does this look like to you? Or go to the, uh, you know, National Security, Homeland Security folks, say, does this look like a improvised device to you? Or would you know that that isn't? Um, so, uh, yeah, so clearly this is suspicious looking, especially to the people who wouldn't know any better. And clearly this, no work went into this. And someone's going out saying, I have my invention, and I'm inspiring the world with my invention. What a patronizing insult to uh, makers and learners and, and, and children who learn and do things and make things. And what a patronizing thing to say to a young person, saying just because you're a Muslim, and because you're Sudanese, that it's okay for you to, that you should be recognized for doing this? I'm sure, I'm sure there's plenty of, uh, kids of a similar color and a similar religion who have accomplished a great deal more that really merits our adoration. Um, by the way, the clock 
is on sale for eBay and it's the values are going up and this one actually says oh this appears to be the same clock Ahmed used and instead of five dollars it's for fifty six dollars on eBay so that's kind of amusing and then you know I ended up all over the press on this over eight hundred thousand views on the YouTube video uh, ended up on Fox News uh, they didn't check their facts completely either they called me an engineer and I'm not which I think is kind of funny but I think the the issue here the reason why I did this was I just was I could not believe that no one else saw that this wasn't a real invention. And it turns out other people did see it, but that's why I posted the video. And uh, when looking at that narrative, you look at the narrative. People wanted to believe a story that they thought was the story they wanted to believe. So there's two narratives. One is, you know, Kid brings in this wonderful science thing to show his teacher, and then uh, he's racially profiled by the bigoted Texans at the school who called the cops, and they wanted, based on racial religious profiling, to humiliate him, and then he was released from custody. The other narrative is that he brought this device into school, which he did not build, that it seemed menacing to people. The, the people at the school were concerned and called the cops. The student was arrested based on his behavior, an apparent violation of the law to produce a hoax device. And then once they adjudicated things, they released him. Uh, I don't know all of these facts which are true. I've highlighted the ones that are true and false that we know now. And the narrative on the right seems to be coming out ahead so far. Um, so whether he was racially profiled or the people were really spooked by this, or he was uh, racially profiled by the police, or it was based on his behavior and whatever the law is in Texas, uh, I'm going to let time decide what the, what the truth is on that. Although I think I side with the example on the right myself, uh, based on the evidence as it's coming in and what I saw. So, uh, But I guess people want to believe the story they want to believe, and I think that's concerning. I think we should all sometimes step back and say, well, what is the reality around something? Sometimes things are gray. They're not all black and white. And uh, life is a little more complex than that. So uh, I encourage you, please subscribe to my channel and uh, check out the next video about why I think this is an important issue. And uh, the one that follows that on, we'll have fun with all the, heat, the hateful comments, which were wonderful. And, um, and we'll see where that goes. So uh, that's the uh, video for now. Uh, have a great day and God bless America.